Okay. <laughs> I'm back. I know that was extremely brief, but I literally just needed to, like, chug some water. So I'm really excited. So we're about to do a pre-release kit from the lovely Ikoria. I'm actually a little bit ambivalent. Sorry, I had to situate myself. Um... I am pretty ambivalent on the set as a whole. As you can see, I've not opened it. It is vacuum sealed and everything. Um, I am not really drawn by any of the cards within um, Aquaria, to be quite honest. I actually prefer the Commander, um, the Commander Precon um, cards over the Aquaria cards, but nonetheless, I'm still really excited to see what I got. Um, so, fun fact, today is May 15th of 2020. We are currently in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, um, and I have yet to miss a pre-release in my entirety of, you know, playing Magic for four years. Um... So I'm actually really sad that I'm missing an actual pre-release. I still count this. Um, I still count this, though, because I have a pre-release kit in my hands. We were allowed to take them home because, you know, we are not allowed to do in-person events, which I completely understand for the safety of everybody. So I will still count this on my streak of not missing one in four years. <laughs> so we'll see what we get. I really don't have any cards I'm particularly looking for other than a Shark Typhoon. I really like playing that card in Brawl. So we're going to pop this open. So again, I'm going to try and not be a degenerate. I'm going to not try to not use my teeth. There we go. Popped this open. Boink. Slide this off. There we are. Okie dokie. So here we go. I'm really nervous, actually. I always get really bad promos. I'm keeping it covered. Our promo. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It is. Do you see that bend? Do you see that bend? Oh, <gasps> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do you see that? Hold on. I haven't even looked at the dang card yet. There is a legit full crease. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you shitting me? Do you see that? Do you see that right there? What the heck is this? Do you see that? Look at that. Are you kidding me? I look at that. You can even clearly see that there's like a scuff mark right there. What happened? Are you are you serious? It, are you kidding me? Do you see that it's even tempting? Right there. Hold on. My back camera doesn't work, so I'm gonna try and like get a picture of this. Um. Give me a second to take a picture. Um, and I have this video too. Um, I'm going to take it out of this. This is damaged. Like, damaged. Holy crap. Do you see that? Do you see that crease? I, I, I legit have, um... <laughs> I actually have no words. I've never received a product that has been this damaged. It is painfully visible on camera. You can see it right there. Um, I actually have no words for this. Um, this is beaten. It literally, I really, I'm trying to get a good picture of it because my back camera is broken. Um... I cannot believe that my card came beaten. Um, I'm actually really disappointed in that. That it came that bad. 
like I really wish my back camera was working um, because that just looks that just looks atrocious well I was about to say show me the bling but this is upsetting this is insanely upsetting like it tents like, do you see that look at how horrible that is like what the heck it is just like even like flat it is lifting up I'm trying to take some pictures on this like I wasn't planning on buying a pre-release kit today um I really wanted to support my LGS and I am actually just really disappointed right now. It's certainly not their fault. Because do you see any scuffs on this? Do you see any scuffs on this? This is a immaculate box. This is immaculate. <laughs> this is just straight up folded in half. I'm sorry. I know I'm focusing too much on this. But I am really upset. And I actually really like this card too. Like, really? Like, I really wish I had my back camera working, because this is just... I'm really, really upset right now. Like, I'm just... I haven't even looked at the other things yet. We're just going to set this aside. So you can clearly see the horrible flipping I am. <laughs> I'm really not happy. Um, I am really disappointed. Um, and to top it off, I got a white die. <laughs> I really got a white die, so I guess. Um, the packs, let's see what they look like. Oh, hold on gotta make sure y'all don't see this because I actually want this code um I actually love that this comes with this though get the little little chips if you also want to use chips though um infinitokens make some so I'm gonna actually hold on I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet about this um because this is ridiculous Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to, like, post this really quickly. Um, I really wish I had a, my, my, my camera was better quality. Um... Like, that's just not good at all. <laughs> I'm really disappointed in this. Um, like, really disappointed in this. Um, I'm just going to quickly post the pictures I took with my crappy camera because my back camera doesn't work. Because um, I dropped it and it doesn't like me. Um, <sighs> this is so disappointing i actually really liked this card too i thought it was super cool um and it just came just flat out the gate painfully bent um i'm sorry normally i'm never usually this disappointed in a product but today i'm kind of disappointed in a product um <laughs> I have, I'm, um, yeah, I'm feeling sad. Hey, Benny! How you doing? I feel very fortunate. My loot so far is undamaged. Just look at that. Look at that. Like, you can even, like, hold on, let me flip the back. It is. <laughs> what is this? Sorry, y'all, but this is... I just have to... I, I'm really disappointed. I 
I am sad. It's a limited edition Funhouse Mirror promo. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to take, I'm going to, I'm going to, ah, oh, sweet cheese. Like, oh, that kills me. I am like really disappointed. Okay. Well, <laughs> I really hope nothing else in here is messed up. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Gonna, 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 gonna be positive. This isn't like a factory crimp or other misprint than the oddities we get excited about. This is it literally is just straight up damaged. Like it has, um, God, like you can see, you can see that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm talking too much about this. I'm going to leave it alone. Okay. Pack time. <laughs> While I try to regain some positivity, I do love opening packs. Um, for those of you who don't know, I actually do this at every single pre-release I do. Um, I kiss every single one of my packs. I know that sounds creepy and weird, but I like to give it a little bit of luck, so I'm going to give it a kiss. Mwah. Please, you guys give it a kiss if you want to give it a kiss. Mwah. There you go. There's a kiss. Um, I just do that because I like to give it a good luck, you know, like no whammies, no whammies. I'm also trying to not be a degenerate and open things with my teeth on stream, but it is disgusting. Here's the ASMR. Hold on. I want y'all to hear it, but I want you to see it too. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. So I'm going to try and do this like an actual pre-release. I'm trying to put my trash in a place where it's not going to get everywhere because of the foilies. Um, packs. We're not even going to think about that. Um, I'm going to do color. And I'll separate by rarity too. So we have go for the blood. Divine arrow. Wingful Terron. Okay. Fertilid, I love this art for it. Like, love this art. I'm a little bit, like, sad about that. I'm still actually a little bit... I have words. Rumbling Rock Slide. Aegis Turtle. We got the egg. We got the egg for Atla Palani, you guys. Colorless. Wooberg 5. Okay, we'll do it there. Multicolored will get its own space. A corpse Churn. Thwart the Enemy. Reptilian Reflection, Duskfang Mentor, Dire Tactics, Exile Target Human. If you don't control a human, you lose life equal to that creature's toughness. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> They're mocking me at this point. <laughs> They're mocking me. They are mocking me. They're, <laughs> They're mocking me. They're... They are mocking me. No. No. <laughs> they are mocking me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are, you, are you absolutely kidding me? Um, I am like... <sighs> oh my god. I re I'm gonna have to take better pictures with a different camera of, of this. I'm still... <laughs> Gotham needs you, Chase. Gotham does need me. Apparently they need me real bad. Even their <laughs> their best and brightest are getting pretty beaten. Okay, um... Let me slide things over a little bit to give my rares some room to breathe. Pack number two. That was... I don't even want to go there. Mwah, give it a kiss for luck and y'all can give it a kiss if you want. I'm not going to force you. It's however you feel comfortable. I just like to do it. <sighs> okay. There we go. Thank God I don't have to be the degenerate and use my teeth on stream. We have Spell Eater Wolverine. I'm checking to see if there's anything like bendy. I'm nervous. Spell Eater Wolverine. Helica Glider. I actually liked this during the, the event. The damaged one is Jason Todd. Holy crap. <laughs> You're right. You're right. He is the damaged one. Frost Lynx. I think this art is super cute. I like Whisper Squad. I think it's cute. Fully grown. 
Rumbling Rock Slide, Aegis Turtle, Another Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn, Alert Heed Bonder. Oh wow, this feels thick. This is a thick feeling card. Call it the Death Dweller. Ooh, I got one of the alternate art Boneyard Lurkers. That's actually super pretty. I love that. <gasps> oh! Okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good. I really wanted this card. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I really wanted this card so much. This card is a beast. This card is a beast in Brawl with, 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 with Narset. And this is just gravy on top. This is just this is just gravy on this pack. This this makes up for this. It doesn't make up for that. This is stunning though. I I I know it's not a rare, but I'm actually gonna set it aside. I'm gonna set aside the alternate arts. Because that is just really pretty. I'm trying to make this nice so that y'all can like see it on stream. This makes me so happy. And then we have a tranquil cove and the cutest cat bird you've ever seen. Um oh. My gosh. I'm gonna have to. This is. I'm really happy with this. Okay. Let's go with this. Gotta give it a kiss for luck. You can too. Getting, getting the luck from the chat. Trying to open this very carefully. We got Cathartic Reunion, aka Owen Grady from Jurassic World. <laughs> they knew it <laughs> they knew what else was in the box that they compensated. They're like, yeah, we feel bad. A garrison cat. Keep safe. I would love a Narset, if not a foil Narset. A honey mammoth. Durable coil bug. Migratory great horn. Pangolin! I actually think this art is super cute. Oh, there we go. We got another alternate art. Oh, I almost thought that this was a damaged card, but it's just the token. It's just the token. Got scared. Puts these in the box and hope they don't notice. Let's go for an alt-art narset. That's what I want is an alt-art narset. This is a Dreamtail Heron. Oh, an alternate art pile. A Blazing Volley. An 11-11 for 9 mana. Cycling. Oh my god. We got a Necro Panther. Look at the benefit of the white spin down there. We're easily legible on stream games. That is true. Thank you, Thrama King. Thank you, Bling King. You actually that made me that actually made me feel better about getting a white spin down. A porky parrot. Um, we'll put him here. Dranith Magistrate. <laughs> Your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. This is gonna be super gross in commander, so I like this. A foil rugged highlands and a windscarred crag. We got a we got a Naya, Naya a sweet Naya land base right here. Okay, do our thing right there. Okay, boom boom boom. Three packs left. Gonna give it a kiss. You can if you want to, and let's go. Or you can give it a hug. You know, I'm not going to make you, like, make out with my pack. I just do that. <laughs> okay. So far, the only damaged product we've received is the Dirge Bat. And then we've also received um, a bit of a scuff on a Commander card. But, oh, wait. I should probably remove this. This, this goes to show that I'm truly a legitimate content creator. I forget to swap out my graphics. Um... <laughs> I think I had one saved for Aquaria, but I don't remember where I put it. Um, so we'll just cancel that and uh, we'll put my name there instead because I forgot to remove the Aquaria. I mean the commander uh, thing from it because I'm really smart and really good at what I do. So I'll just, there we go. I forgot to remove it. <laughs> so there's my name. Okay. Frenzied Raptor. Checkpoint Officer. An Otter. Thieving Otter. Mutual Destruction. Fully Grown. 
These actually have a good feel to them. They're very soft. I actually like the feel of this. And hold on, I actually should. This has the good smell. The commander deck has the bad smell. Essence Symbiote, Raking Claws, Gorgeous Evolving Wilds, a Memory Leak, Essence Scatter, a beautiful Seb McKinnon art. <gasps> Sprite Dragon! Oh my god! Okay, I'm very happy about that. That that we're 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 doing better. A foil alternate art Sprite Dragon will make up for that, but Reconnaissance Mission. Which is printed in our deck. A Glowstone Recluse. Alternate art. That's beautiful. <gasps> yes. He's amazing. We got General Kudrow of Dranith. We got General Kudrow. Oh my god. Why does this guy make me think of Wizard of Oz? He also makes me think of um, Jonah Jameson. Jameson. Jonah J. Jameson. Bring me pictures of Godzilla. You know? That's the vibe I get from him. Okay. Two packs left. Which one should we do? Should we do the weird monkey or should we do Vivian? Um, this guy creeps me out and Vivian's a babe, but I want you to choose. Vivian? Okay. So Vivian. We're gonna put down the weird little... I don't even know what he is. He looks like a monkey, but he looks like like an eye eye. I don't know. But we're playing or we're getting Vivian. She's the babe. She's the babe. Okay. Wingfold Teron. This pack feels hefty. So I'm hoping for some... It feels heavy. So it's probably because of this. I just realized whatever. <laughs> I'm still going to wish with my heart of hearts. Tentative Connection. Solid footing. Frostvale Ambush. Bushmeat Poacher. I'm not even going there. Ram Through. Mosscoat Goriark. I forgot what green was. Suffocating fumes. Um, Dreamtail Heron. Let's see. Coordinated charge. Sanctuary lockdown. So again, humans. There's a lot of human support in this set, which I think is kind of ni uh, nice and neat. This feels very thick. This feels like some thick cardstock. Boon of the Wishgiver that was in our pre-con. Okay. Splendor Mare. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Do you see that? There's like a line there. So it's an alternate something. I'm just scared. I'm scared. <gasps> oh. Ooh. I got the Triome. This is the Abzan one. That's pretty. That's a money card. Oh gosh, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick peek and see how much this is. Um because I'm that kind of person who really wants to know. This card is six dollars, so that's actually not bad. The foils are more expensive though. This isn't a foil. That's stunning. So we have our last card, our last pack. So we have our weird little monkey, our weird little porcupine monkey. I'm going to give it a kiss. You're going to give it a kiss too. I wish this was a foil. It's not a foil. Unfortunately, it's it's a matte art, but I really love the way it looks on here. So no complaints from me. So fingers crossed. So we get this. You're right. It's about 7 to $8 dollars Thrama King. The foils are around 20 Okay, not using my teeth. I'm not a degenerate. Okay, last pack. Trying to be very good. About opening. There we go. This is the this is the this is the the, the the like the most like concise way of opening a pack. Um, token. Okay, cool. It's a dinosaur. So there's nothing on the back. This feels like a heavy pack. Fingers crossed that we get our nar set. Frostvale Ambush. He's a Marmoset. He was a monkey, though. See, so he's a monkey, but he's a Marmoset. It's either terrified or extremely mad at us. Definitely one of the two. He does look... He does look a little bit weird. Spontaneous Flight. I love this art. Coilbug. Boar. Bristling Boar. Night Squad Commando. Plummet. I actually really like this Plummet art. 
Dranith Healer, Raking Claws, Hampering Snare, Footfall Crater, Insatiable Hemophage. This is our uncommon, so it's Footfall Crater. Our last uncommon is Stormwild Caprador. Is it another? No, it's not. It's Death Oasis. I thought it was another one of these lands. And a Plains and a Dinosaur. So we got Death Oasis, which is another Abzan card. Um, whenever a non-token creature control dies, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard, then return a creature card with CMC less than the mana cost of the creature that died from your graveyard to the hand. Oh my god. That hurts my mouth to say it, actually. I'm going to read that one more time. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Then return a creature card with lesser CMC than the creature that died from your graveyard to the battlefield. Then you can tap one and sacrifice this and you gain life equal to the greatest converted mana class among creatures you control. And then there you have it. So, to go through again, these are the alternate arts that we got. We got the Indatha Trium, which is beautiful. Um... I don't have any Abzan decks, so I don't have a use for this currently in Commander, and I'm really sad because I would have loved to have a, a Triome that I could use. No other rares and alternate arts, unfortunately. We do have the Recluse, which is really pretty. Um, the Heron, which is also stunning. The Boneyard Worker, but I think my favorite out of all of these is actually the Parrot. The Porky Parrot is super colorful. Um... I like the ability where you can tap him and deal damage equal to the number of times he's mutated, and I really just like the way that, that, that looks. It's very pretty. So these are our alt arts. I'm going to go back and see if I've made my money just with this. I'm not even going to count that. That is unsellable to a card shop, or to anybody on the internet for that matter. I have a Death's Oasis. A General Kudro, which I actually really like this. Um... Maybe I'll build a list on him for Always Be Brewing, but as an actual deck I in paper of mine, I don't know. Um, I know a lot of people have been talking about him for Modern Humans. Who knows? I'm not really into the meta. Dronith Magistrate. Disgusting. He hurts <laughs> because you can't cast your commander. Feels bad. This is probably the thing I am most excited of that I pulled out. And this I could not be happier with this right here. I love this card. This card is a bomb. It is an absolute slam dunk in Brawl on Arena. It gives you good card draw. It saves. It just. It, it, I really have. It, I have a lot of good stuff to say about it. And for four mana, amazing. And then we have Dirge Bat. And I don't even want to say anything about this Dirge Bat. So I'm going to I'm gonna count up the price of these along with these right here. Because this I feel like people are going to want alternate arts rather than the actual cards. So I'm going to go through and we're going to see what we got here. So our Triome is $5. No, technically $6. Sorry, $6. So I'm going to actually pull up my calculator. You're going to see me do some math. Okay. So six. Um, let's see. I have a foil pork you pair it. So I feel like that's going to be like $1. <laughs> um, not even a dollar. This is 33 cents. So this technically doesn't count towards it, which makes me very sad because I love this. Um, I don't think any of the other ones are going to be worth anything. I'm going to look it up anyway, just in case, because you never know. Nope. So I'm going to assume these guys also aren't really worth anything. So right now we have $6 with the Indartha, Indatha Triome. Okay, let's look up Dirge Bat. I have a feeling he is not going to be worth anything. Dirge Bat is worth... Well, this would have been one dollar it is now i worthless this right here is about 75 cents so uh, i'm gonna count it only if it's a dollar a dollar or more let's go professor rules here um whirlwind of thought let's see how much this card is sadly only worth uh 50 cents i think it is 
too good to be worth that little. Makes me very sad, though. Um, let's see how much the magistrate is worth. Okay, this guy is worth... Drandith Magistrate is worth $3. So now we're up to a total of $9. Let's see how Kudro is worth. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna take that. He is worth... 450 so I'll, I'll bump him up to five so five dollars and then our last one is death's oasis death's oasis which is only worth 80 cents so we did not make back our pack we actually only earned 14 um out of all of this, I'm not going to count any of the uncommons or commons, um, just because they tend to usually not be worth anything, as evidenced by or even our pretty alt arts, it's not really worth anything. So we made $14 back, so I had a loss of about $11. Um, I, hello MTG Tengu, hello! I am pleased with my pulls to be quite honest I actually really like out of all of my rares I'm happy with these three I love this whirlwind and even though these are worth nothing and I probably will not play them I think these are cards that I just want to keep just because of how beautiful they are um this I have no use for really same thing with the dirge bat and I really don't know what to say about this ugh Just, uh, <laughs> makes me so sad. So, this was our lovely unboxing of my pre release kit. I, um, overall looking at this, did not make my money back, had a loss, but usually that's gonna happen. Unless you get super lucky, which sometimes happens, and that's awesome. Um,. I got two. I'm really weird, kind of surprised that I only got the only colorless creatures I got were eggs. Um, I expected the other colorless creature whose name I cannot remember. Um, generally speaking, I'm gonna be extremely honest with you here. Looking at my polls, it feels like um, my packs wanted me to play Abzan. Um, if this wasn't bent, I would have had two dirge bats, two flyers that can destroy a creature or a planeswalker is pretty good and limited with flash, no less. Um, I like that a lot. Um, this right here gives us life gain and we can return stuff from our graveyard. Three mana is really cheap, too. I really like that. Um, and let's see. We have another mutate. Uh, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. So some nice recursion for four. Um, let's see. This guy is not Abzan, but he's still pretty sweet. This guy right here. You put a one, two one counters on a creature when you mutate it. And he has reach, which is also really sweet. Um, the pair does not Abzan as well. These are good mutators just because, again, they get one one counters on it. So I feel like looking at my deck, this... Um, Maybe a him. I'm definitely thinking these guys would be in there. As much as I love General Kudro, he doesn't really seem to have a place in here. Because Mutate functions off of non-humans. Um, and he has other humans you control get 1-1, one, one, which is really good for human decks. Um, when, he enters, when he or another human enters the battlefield under your control, you can exile target card from an opponent's graveyard, which can be really good. Tap two and sack two humans. Destroy target creature with power four or greater, which is going to get rid of a lot of your, um, you know, your monsters, your kaiju. Um, all in all, like, this seems pretty, like, a pretty playable pack when I'm looking at it. Um, so far. <laughs> Hi, Mr. B. Like, this seems pretty good. And with the Death's Oasis... Um, 
gaining life. I could gain life off of my, here he is, the Titanoth Rex 11 life. I mean, you're always going to, in Unlimited, I think you're always going to want to want to run at least one big boy. He would be the big boy. Yeah, I feel like I would go Abzan, um, looking at what I have, spells-wise, um, and rares-wise. It just feels pretty good. What do you guys think? Like, I think Abzan would have been what I should have done. I do have some humans, to be fair, but not enough, I think, to justify Kudro. Um, this was, this was an Abzan pack. Um, so that is it. I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm pretty much what I'm going to do is probably just like sleeve up. Um, I can't wait to get some kits open for build purposes. Please buy singles. <laughs> Apparently I've seen a lot of people like, look, this is actually tented up because that is bent so bad that if I just go like that, it's like teeter-totter teeter-totter which ugh. buy singles <laughs> buy singles and like i know for a fact it was not my card shop because first of all my card shop treats their stuff very well but um second of all let's see the box is in pristine condition there's nothing on the box um the wrapping wasn't punctured um i'm a cracking pack channel i don't buy singles i give them away be careful with this then but I'm really sad that my promo was destroyed I mean I'm thankful it was a, at least a dirge bat but that is just like the worst Ugh. <laughs> what the heck I just can't stop marveling at the fact that I it's not even a warp it is just a straight up you can see the crease in the light right there wow you saw jeremy's post with all the toppers bent yeah i did actually i did i was really hoping that that wouldn't happen to me today i literally picked up my stuff and i was like really i was like i really hope this does not happen to me um jeez I just, yeah. So this was today. This was today. All in all, I'm really happy. I, I'm a little bit disappointed that one of my commander cards had a scuff on the art. Um, but thankfully, again, you know, it, it's only a scuff and it's not a card I'm, like, desperate to play um, in commander. It's good, but it's not like what I... It, at least it wasn't Gavi is what I'm saying. So at the end of the day... I'm, I'm, I am disappointed, but, you know, I'm still, I'm still going to play the game. I love this game. Um, I don't think I'll ever really play with Mutate as a mechanic. I actually, the only reason I really bought a pre-release kit was number one, to um, support my LGS um, during, you know, the pandemic and them being shut down. And also because I kind of thought it'd be fun to do a little opening so um this is the first time i've ever seen a damaged product this bad though but such is life you know it's a promo so she might get i mean like it's not it's not a narset if it was a narset i actually think i might have needed about five minutes um at least it's not like something truly worth something so i'm just gonna i'm really honestly like thankful like at least it was this and not something like like um like the triome like if it was the triome i would have been in tears but you know at the end of the day at least my pre-con is for the most part perfect except for one little thing so sometimes it is what it is and yeah what if it was kudro <laughs> okay if it was kudro i would have been really mad because um there's just something about him that just looks amazing and fun to fiddle with I would have been actually really pissed um, if it was Kudro. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, honestly, if it was any of these cards, I would be really not vibing. So the fact that it was done on a bulk bulk rare feels okay to me. Um, he looks like someone I know. He looks like every angry guy that you would see 
like at a Starbucks, like getting really angry with the manager because you didn't like steam his coffee to 180 degrees, even though you can only go to 175. He also does look like a dad. And he might look like your dad. Okay, guys. So without further ado, I believe that is it. Thank you for joining me on today's impromptu stream of unboxing multiple um, multiple uh, products of magic. Um, the first one I did. You're okay, Mr. B. You're perfectly fine. This isn't part of my normal stream schedule, so it's very unprecedented. Um, but I just wanted to do something fun. I got some product. I was really excited. I'm going to sleeve up my commander deck later. I got some sleeves for it. Um, and yeah, that's really it. So I appreciate y'all chilling out with me and taking some taking some time to vibe. Um, sad I didn't get a Narset, but you know, that's, that's how the cookie crumbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of the day off breathe, relax a little bit. Um, and yeah, so thanks you guys so much for joining me and hopefully I'll upload this to YouTube either as a single video or as a two separate videos. We'll see. Um, but yeah, you guys have a good night and please stay safe. Be kind to one another. Um, and let me know what you think of your pulls. If you get any pre-release packs, Thank you so much for watching, Benny. Thank you for joining. I'm really happy you came and stopped by. This was lovely. Um, post your pulls if you got any good pulls. Um, if you have a foil sprite dragon, hit me up. Um, and yeah, you guys have a good night. And I will see you later. Bye.